So here it is, the question that we all think about probably pretty much constantly after being discarded by a narcissist. Does my ex-narcissist treat their new supply source as badly as they treated me? And this is a question that I sadly wonder about every single day. Um, and to be discarded is one thing, but to find out the dreadful truth that they are very, very quickly with someone new can take your breath away. They seem to have moved on overnight while we haven't shaved our legs in four weeks. You scour the narcissist social media and the new supplies social media searching desperately for some sort of clue as to when this relationship uh, started or when it, uh, when it started and whether they were both talking during your time together. Is he or she better looking than you? What did they have that that we didn't? And you cannot help but wonder if they are happier or even worse, if they have changed for this person. The spiral does not stop there. You go further and further downhill thinking they look happier, content, and perhaps maybe just maybe this person ticks the boxes that you didn't because why else would he or she seem to be lasting longer in this relationship than he or she did with you? Why are there differences between their relationship and yours? Why couldn't he or she uh, be this way with you? And why were we really that easy to dispose and abandon? Are we just that forgettable? Is this new person something that we did not amount to in some way? And what is that? We start to obsess over it day and night. We lose sleep over it for weeks, months, sometimes even years later, pondering, wondering, questioning everything, racing back over the course of our time with the narcissist for hints and subtle cues and that were in our relationship with them that we could have possibly missed or would have pointed to this horrific outcome. And then you start to get angry that this new person cannot see the real them. The real them, the real narcissist, the one who cheated, lied, and deceived you in every possible way. The one who liked every hot girl or boy, strangers, Facebook and Instagram uh, photos, the one who flirted right in front of you with other people, the one who prioritized their ego over your emotional well-being, the one who was a knight in shining armor to women uh, who were upset over their current relationship woes and needed a shoulder to cry on conveniently. The one who would gaslight you and talk about certain things like their exes to see your reaction. The one who would provoke you and get a reaction out of you. The one who made you believe you were crazy. And then after all of this initial processing, the final and worst thought of all sinks into the depths of your shattered heart. That maybe, just maybe, they have actually really, really, truly changed this time. And that maybe this new person inspired them to change. You think of the girl or the guy that you once knew so well that was so sweet and perfect at the beginning of the relationship and you start to question whether that really was the real them and perhaps he must have done something that made them become this monster that was so selfish, further confirming our fears that we somehow are not enough. So, okay, that's the emotional turmoil uh, settled. That's what we go through. We all know that. So let's get down to logic. The answer is they have not changed. It does not matter whether this person is a narcissist or not. It applies to anyone who lies, cheats, or deceives. No, they have not changed. No, they have not changed. No, they have not changed. It does not matter if they've changed their hair, uploaded pictures of their new partner, do this or do that with, with the new supply, vacations, yada, yada. All of that is just decoration. 
not all that glitters is gold. This person is still very much the exact same person that you met at the end of your relationship. And I want you to listen to that, if, if you would like, over and over and over again until it sinks in. Perhaps it would help to look at it from a different perspective. So let's look at ourselves. Could we just magically transform into somebody completely different tomorrow or the day after that or the next month or a year? Really, could we? No. What about if someone came up to you and said, hey, I'll give you $1 million to be this type of person tomorrow. I would, I would take the money and give it a shot. And even without the money, I might give it a try, but it wouldn't last because that's not who I really am. And a natural fact of life is that a person's true colors always come out eventually. And yes, I wish I was more conscientious and organized sometimes, and sometimes more punctual. And I, I have tried and made a real great effort to be more of those things. And I do slip back into my old ways from time to time. An angry person inside could not magically transform into a happy person tomorrow unless it was a facade, an act, some type of manipulated slight, a plot, all of which are temporary until the mask slips. If we are talking about narcissism, which we are, uh, this is a mental a personality disorder, a fixed personality disorder. And um, if we are seriously asking if a new man or woman has magically transformed a narcissist wiring that they have had since childhood, when you really think about it, I, I'm not even going to dignify that question with an answer. It's not an opinion. It is a fact. Do not let emotions take over the answer to this question. We are who we are, and those closest to us will see the real us eventually, ugly side and all. Sadly, the real side that you saw will be the side that this new person will absolutely experience, whether it is now, later, tomorrow, next month, next year, whenever. Our true colors always reveal themselves. And like my mom always says, the truth always comes out in the wash. So to the answer to this question is yes, the new person will absolutely be treated the same. It is only a matter of time. So sit back, relax, get your popcorn, and enjoy that drama that you thankfully will not be a part of. Hey guys, if you would like to donate to The Cause, Narcissistic Abuse 101, click the PayPal link in my bio and help out with video production, the production of my new book, getting free coaching to people who are in need, and so much more. And to those of you who have already contributed, thank you so much.